I'm Lucy, I'm from Kilkenny, and I've been lifeguarding on the River Nore for four years. Freshwater has no salt in it, so it's obviously less buoyant and it's a lot colder. Because of these differences, I would advise people, especially in freshwater, to swim in lifeguarded waterways. We have these swim zones, so between the red and yellow flags, there will be a lifeguard present, and that's basically an area that's safe for people to swim. It's important as well for people not to get too complacent in the water either. I think two years ago when a man was wearing inappropriate footwear, he was within the swim zone, he got his feet caught up in brambles and he actually got submerged underwater. We had to go out on the rescue board and save this man. It is important to know that because he was between the red and yellow flags, we could see him and we were responsible for him and that's basically how we got to him. That's how important it is to swim within the swim zone. Other hazards that are unique to freshwater are submerged objects, sudden deaths and fast flowing water. Uh, we've had a lot of incidents over the years where there's been uprooted trees, poles, shopping trolleys, bikes, all that sort of stuff just submerged under the water that people are unaware of. You really do need to have your wits about you dumping into any water. Unlike the sea, you're not on a beach, you're not gradually going into the water. People are suddenly on the bank and then you're jumping into the water without an idea of what depth it is. We would advise you always to check the depth of the water before getting in. And in relation to currents, they also move faster and they're not always visible on the surface in a river. So my advice for people swimming in fresh water would be to always swim within the swim zone and lastly just check the depth and check the temperature of the water and have your wits about you before getting in. If you find yourself at a waterway that's not lifeguarded and you still want to get in and swim, please ask for local advice and never swim alone. For advice on how to enjoy our rivers and lakes safely, please visit watersafety.ie.